On a quiet Sunday in South Lake Union, everyone's eyes were looking up. It's amazing. I guess they're taking the other broken pieces off the roof. Staring at the damaged Google building. It's, astoni it's astonishing to see that gash. And thinking about the tumbling tower crane that caused it. That was on Lu Jean Holmes' mind. She lives nearby. From our deck, we can go out and count cranes. I still don't know what happened. It's tragic. Arthur Chin is a retired engineer, but found himself with the same question as everyone else. How could it happen? How? Yeah. Makes you wonder. <laughs> he wondered if the crews disassembling the rig did everything right. Two iron workers passed away, didn't they? And how something could go so wrong. By procedure or not, here we are. Uh, something has happened. So work continued. Parts of the damaged crane were removed from the roof, while the pieces that fell sat at a yard next door. But the quiet of Sunday. No, we no, were close. We were close, yes. Was interrupted by the echoes of this tragedy. Andy heard a crash. Yeah. And we felt a big wind, and then it started raining, and we didn't really expect it to rain. Andy and Susie just hoped that those killed didn't suffer. Oh, gosh, yes, yes. Yeah. Did not know what hit them. It sounds like it was pretty fast. A common feeling today uh, and small comfort. They didn't have time to think, I don't think. As onlookers wonder why. It does make you think that at any time something can happen. And hopefully we'll start learning the answers to those questions in the coming days. But it could be months, according to labor and industry. So again, out here live, you can see an active scene as crews put up this new crane to continue removing this wreckage. And down at street level, crews have been hard at work as well. We have seen a pothole patch crew out here working to repair the damage to Mercer Street. So again, we hope to have many more answers uh, coming up in the next few days and in the next few months. Live in Seattle, Michael Crow, King 5 News.